Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another video. A uh, special video this week. Originally this was going to be part two of a two-part series where I first react to and then implement a new map in the game that I'm building. But instead, I had an order that was ready a week earlier than anticipated from Apple. So I'm going to be unboxing and giving some thoughts about the new 14-inch M2 MacBook Pro, which I'm very excited about. And for context, the game that I'm building is also a productivity app. And if you're interested in what that might look like, make sure you subscribe down below to see the finished product once it's done and the journey each week on how I get there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, why did I get a new computer? Well, I was noticing in the videos that I was making that I was consistently hitting a bottleneck every week that the editing process was just very, very slow and I was very hesitant to make the videos as best the best videos that I could because I was worried that the Final Cut timelines would just make my computer explode. I'm previously using a, I think, 2016 MacBook Pro, which is a 13 inch model, so it doesn't have a dedicated GPU and it's just simply not performant enough to be able to handle the 4K footage that I have from my Sony A7S II. And then once there are graphics involved in the timeline, the computer stutters to a screeching halt and it's just unmanageable to work with. When you're making a large purchase like this, I think it's really helpful to write down what your priorities are. Let's say you're debating between a 16 inch and a 14 inch M2 MacBook Pro. If portability is not on your top five list of desired features for a computer, then maybe the extra screen real estate of a 16 inch computer and the better heat performance will be a much better option for you in the long run. But if portability is like the number two or number three item on your list of things that you care about, the 14 inch is gonna serve you as a consumer far better over the lifespan of owning that computer. Speaking of cost, I think that there's a growing recommendation either on YouTube or in tech articles that instead of purchasing the M2 MacBook Pro, you should consider getting a refurbished or a discounted M1 MacBook Pro if you can find one of those deals. I think this is a fairly decent recommendation and maybe students or people that are especially cost minded, you should really consider going this route. But if you're thinking of this purchase like I am as a business, then the additional benefits that you get from the M2 model, such as the extended battery life and the slightly, slightly better CPU performance might be worth that couple extra hundred dollars. The two most important priorities for me were battery life and portability. So I thought the 14 inch M2 MacBook Pro was the best purchase that I could be making, but I did get one thing customized when I was ordering it from Apple and that was the storage. So I watched a ton of reviews on this computer when it first came out and the one one thing that I was consistently seeing in the reviews of the 14 inch M2 MacBook Pro specifically was that the read and write speeds of the hard drives were substantially slower than that of the M1 MacBook Pros. Like everybody else, I was a little worried about this at first, but after doing a little bit more research, I found out that you can get the same read and write speeds that the M1 MacBook Pro has if you just upgrade the storage. And the issue stems from Apple using larger hard drives for the base model. So instead of two 256 gigabyte hard drives running in parallel on the base model to make up 520, 512 gigabytes of total storage, they're just using one 512 gigabyte hard drive. So the read and write speeds are bottlenecked in that regard to one hard drive. And if you were to upgrade to the one terabyte model, which I did, then you have two 512 gigabyte uh, hard drives that can communicate in parallel. And it's only the base model that suffers from this. So if you're considering an M2 MacBook Pro, that's something to keep in mind. Overall, I'm super excited about this purchase and I really hope it's going to speed up my production workflow so that I'll be able to make more videos and they'll be a little bit higher quality. So thank you for your patience as I've been making videos on a bottlenecked computer over the past couple of months. Hopefully the production quality is gonna step up a bit. I appreciate your attention as always. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.